the Prioress's tale, in the Canterbury Tales, Harry Bailey politely calls on the Prioress, or a nun, to tell her story, and she agrees. First, she prays and dedicates her story to the Virgin Mary. Then she begins, a widow's son, a boy of seven, was a student at a small Christian school. A devout child that would say a Hail Mary every time he saw an image of Christ's mother. One day, he overhears some children singing a Latin hymn, O Alma Redemptoris. He asks them to explain the meaning of the song, and he is told that it is about praying to Mary for help and comfort on our dying day. The boy learns the whole hymn and sings it often. Satan, disliking such innocence and devotion, has the town Jews do away with the boy. A hired murderer grabs the boy, cuts his throat, and throws him into the sewer. The boy's mother searches everywhere for him. She hears his voice singing, Oh, Alma Redemptoris, from underground, and discovers his body. The boy's body is taken to the nearest abbey, still singing. The guilty men are executed, and the dead boy continues to sing throughout the funeral mass. The abbot asks him how it is possible that he sings even though he is dead. The boy tells him that as he was dying, the mother of Christ appeared to him and placed a grain on his tongue and told him to sing, O oh, Alma Redemptoris, until the grain was removed. The abbot then removes the grain, and the boy dies peacefully. All of the people gathered are overcome. They weep and give praise to Christ's mother. The boy's body is buried in the abbey. Scholars classify this tale as a miracle story, an inspirational one for Christians. Many of these miracle stories focused on the Virgin Mary and the value of devotion to her. The tales tend to be sentimental and emotionally appealing rather than theological or concerned with the church's teachings. This tale, like many stories in the genre, features a strongly anti-Semitic tone. The intervention of supernatural powers is a feature of this story, but as the prioress suggests, faith or its opposite are preconditions for such interventions. The Virgin Mary performs a miracle on behalf of a deeply devout boy. Likewise, the devil is able to encourage the Jews' treachery because their hearts are the waspish nest of Satan. The helplessness and innocence of the boy at the center of this tale supports the Christian idea that God shows his power in the weak and in those who suffer. The words little and small are used repeatedly throughout the tale to describe the child, the school, the child's school book, the child's throat, and so on.